Maria from Maria's Craft Corner and we're starting a class today to make this quilt. It's kind of my own design. I found patterns that I liked and I put them all together into a quilt and the ladies got their own fabrics and they brought their machines up and we're going to start constructing tonight. To This will be a 10 week class so we'll have 10 weeks to complete the quilt. Okay, so tonight we're going to be making two blocks. We're going to be making the Virginia Real Quilt Block and we're going to be making the Milky Way Quilt Block. So you should have all your pieces cut out ready to go. Um, we're going to start with the Virginia Reel. And for the Virginia Reel, you're making all half square triangles. So I'm going to show you how to make those triangles and cut them and square them up. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take your five and a half inch squares that you cut and you are four and a half inch I guess and you drew a line on the back of them all correct and you drew either one line or two lines if you drew one line you're going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side of that line if you drew two lines you're going to sew directly on both lines okay so you're going to take a square a, a pattern square and a solid you're going to put them on top of each other like that and you're going to put a couple pins. Now, I've watched some people pin and they pin over here like this. You're not holding your square you're going to sew if you pin over here. Okay? So you want to pin right in the middle where you're going to be sewing. So the first thing you're going to do is just get all of them together, right sides together, and you're going to pin them all. Okay? And then you're going to go to your machine and we're going to chain these to make it quicker. So we're going to go to the machine, and I already have one in here that I was working on. So I'm going to take my next one. I'm not going to lift up my foot or anything. I'm just going to take my next square, and I'm just going to start sewing, and the machine will take it in. Okay, just like that. And you're going to sew all the way down the line. And remember, you want to sew a scant quarter inch. A scant quarter inch is just on the inside of your line because your thread takes up space. So if you sew directly on the line, your square might be too small, okay? So I'm going to finish sewing that one. Now I'm going to just take the next one and I'm going to chain it right in there. Okay, and I'm just going to sew right to the left to the left of that line, okay? All right, once I have them all sewn, I take them out of my machine and I have a chain like this. All right, cut them apart. Then you're gonna turn them around because you have to do the other line. So you're gonna do the same thing on the other side of your line. So we're gonna put it in there we're going to sew that lot right on the left side of that line. Okay, and again, we're going to chain them. I'm only doing two. You guys obviously have a lot more, but I just for demonstration purposes, I'm just doing two of them. So we're going to sew just on the left side, and you'll just keep chaining them through. So when you're done, when you're done sewing them all, you're going to have this big long line of squares with sewing on both sides of the square. Okay? Cut them apart. And then what you're going to do is either take your scissors or you can take your rotary cutter and you're going to cut between the line that you just sewed. So now you have two rect or two triangles. Okay? We're going to press those open. And we always press to the dark whenever it's possible. We're going to press to the dark. So we put the dark up. I'm going to press the seam, the three-step press. One, two. Now I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to press that seam open. And you notice I'm not ironing. I'm not moving my iron. I'm pressing that seam open. So I put my iron on the light fabric and I press up to the dark and I hold it there. Iron on the light, up to the dark, and I hold it there. Okay? Now you're going to have a whole bunch of half, these are called half square triangles. You're going to have a whole bunch of them. Okay? You need to square those up 
to three and a half inches. So you're going to take your square. Now, if you have the block lock and you don't know how to use it, I'll show you that individually. But you're going to take your square, whatever size square you have, and there's a diagonal line right down the middle of your square. You're going to put that diagonal line right down the middle of your half square triangle. Okay, you don't want it to be off that because then you're not going to have a nice squared triangle to two halves the same. So put that diagonal line there. Now I like to, I had you make these a smidge bigger than what the pattern called for because I like to take a little bit off of each side to get rid of those, to get rid of these points here. So when I do it, I kind of put it in the middle. Okay, so I have my diagonal line right down the middle. I'm going to take a little bit off of this side to get rid of that point and even it out. Okay, now I'm going to turn it around and now I'm going to put this squared 90 degree angle here on the three and a half mark on my ruler. Okay, so I'm going to put three and a half and three and a half and that line is still right down the middle for me and I'm going to cut off my extra. Okay, so now I have a squared up three and a half inch half square triangle. Okay, so you're going to do that with all of them and then you're going to put them on the plate as you go so you don't lose any of them because you're going to have a lot of them. You're going to have 16 half square triangles when you're done. Okay, so that's going to be our first step and then we'll look at how we're going to sew those together and make the block. Anybody have any questions about getting them sewn together? Okay, so in order to get two blocks done, we kind of got to keep working. Okay, so if you can kind of keep, of course, talk and enjoy yourselves, but <laughs> kind of keep working. First, you're going to pin them all like I showed you, then sew them all, press them all, and then square them all up to three and a half inches. And all of that is on the direction sheet that I gave you. Okay? So I'll be walking around and answering questions, and um, we'll go from there. You guys are awful quiet tonight. You gave us a lot of work today. Thank you. 
when the carriage and the yeah. And that needs to be dusted out with your brush. Back in business. Okay. Back in business. How you doing, Kathy? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I'm Maria York from Maria's Craft Corner. Welcome to our second night of our quilt class. Um, last week you watched us make the Virginia Reel block and the Milky Way block. And this week we're going to be making the Main Street block and the Star, and the star block. So um, if you guys want to get your directions out and we'll get ready with a de quick demonstration on how to do that. Main Street block. This block <laughs> is a Pat Sloan block. I got it off of her website. Um, the reason it's called Main Street is because she had it in a quilt where she was doing like a, a community quilt and she called this one Main Street. Okay, so um, for the cutting you were supposed to cut four light fabric, four and a half square, four and a half squares, or no, four, four and a half squares. Okay. You were also supposed to cut a medium to light to dark, four and a half inch square. You cut two strips that were two and a half by 20 inches. Mine are already sewn together for demonstration. And you cut eight squares, two and a half inches. And on the back of your um, two and a half inch squares, you should have a diagonal line, correct? Okay. All right, so um, per your directions, you're going to take your two 20 inch strips and you're going to sew them together. And I already did that. It's just a quarter inch seam, sew them together, press to the dark, okay? And what you're going to be doing with this is you are going to be cutting it into four and a half inch sections. 
okay? And that's how we're going to get the stripe on the side of that block, on the four corners of that block, okay? The other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your light four and a half inch squares, and you're going to take your two and a half inch squares, and you're going to be putting the two and a half inch squares on a corner of the four and a half inch square. And you're gonna sew just to the right of that line. So you're sewing just a smidge closer to this point, okay? Because remember what I told you last week, thread takes up space. So if you sew directly on that line, when you go to press your triangles, you, will, you might be a little bit short. So I'm just gonna sew just a smidge to the right of that line. And again, you can chain these through. I chained mine through. And I have a big long chain here, which I started before you got here. And after you sew one on this corner then, you're gonna take another one and you're gonna sew it on the opposite corner. And remember, right sides together when you sew that, okay? So I'm gonna sew that. If you wanna put a pin in there, it's always a good idea to put a pin in there. You can just probably put one since it's such a small piece. And you're just gonna sew again to the right side of that core of that line. A little different than we did last week, because last week we did um, we sewed on both sides of the line. This week you're only sewing on the line. Okay, so now I have four of these that are done. Okay, and you are going to take your scissors. And here they are. You can take your scissors and you're going to cut the extra triangle off, <coughs> leaving about a quarter of an inch. Okay? And so I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to cut the extra part off. I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch. You can take it to your iron, press, and press. Now this square should be four and a half inches again. If you're not sure or if you have some jagged edges, go ahead and measure it with your ruler and make sure it's four and a half inches. Okay, so you're gonna end up with four of these and you're gonna end up with four of these because we subcut them, right? We sewed this whole thing together and then we put it on our mat we put it on a line on our mat. See how I have it lined up right here? And I'm gonna cut that first little piece off because I wanna make sure it's good and straight. All right, and now I'm gonna cut four and a half inches. One, two, three, four and a half inches. Like that. And I'm gonna do that again, four and a half inches. This is so much easier than taking all those little pieces and sewing them together. It's just to make a strip and then cut the strip. It goes so much quicker. The original pattern, um, a lot of times the original patterns will tell you to cut all those individual pieces and it's like, uh-uh, I'm just gonna sew strips and then cut the strips, okay? So I have four of these now. And you watch your, watch your diagram when you lay them out because you want to put the dark color to the middle. Okay? So see how the dark colors to the middle? And the reason you're going to do that is because you also used the dark color when you made your triangles. So if you switch those around, you're going to have the, the triangles and this dark up against each other. Where now, if you can see, it kind of fits between, okay? Where if I turn it this way, it's going to be dark, dark. Yep. All right, so what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a nine patch, because I'll press yep. these and they'll go here, 
and I'll press this one and it'll go here and I'll press this one and it'll go here okay and then this is where we do so black one two together black one two together one two together right and then add three and then press them all and sew our rows together okay any questions mm -hmm. sure you got it yep. Kathy or newbie <laughs> <laughs> all right okay I'm here if any if you need me girls otherwise you can go ahead and get started and let me know how you do all right I decided well Peggy I've done both so I can okay. tell you Therapy is cheaper if you have, if you have insurance. I don't know what you're talking about. Just one line down the middle. I know. I already did the two. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> together Here each one was 500 pieces but they were small pieces that line, and, I think and they I got them at the dollar dollar tree yeah one was Mickey one was yeah. me I had them together awesome. and I had them laying I bumped them and they oh, no. on the floor <laughs> no I just put them in ziplock bags oh. <laughs> put, put what I thought and if they're making, you know, so I, I like the colors. Yeah. Get out, put it together. I'll have to do both of them. It's a different color, so I know who's who, but I just, I just kind of, this one, I can just get a little bit of a Oh, it makes sense. Oh, did you go get your own tools? Yeah, you know, let's just say my daughter has some organizations. And she just, she's, she's, she's likes this. That's not the why I did. I did blue because my, my living room. Family room's blue. Yeah. That's the reason why I did yeah. blue. Usually I do a brown. Or that's what she says. Yeah. It looked cubby to me. Okay.
want to press the first and last row one direction and your middle row a different so they nest together, okay? Well, I'm Maria York from Maria's Craft Corner. Thanks for joining us tonight, and we'll see you next week for our third class where we'll make two more blocks on our quilt. Okay. Welcome back to Maria's Craft Corner. We're on week three of our um, Block of the Month quilt. And tonight we're going to be making our log cabin block and our basket. So first goes for our log cabin. Um, the best way to do this, ladies, is to put your fabrics out. I numbered my fabrics. Um, if you don't number, that's okay. Just put them in order. Put your lights in order. Put your darks in order. Okay, you're going to pick up your beginning square, and I chose my sashing color for that. And you're going to pick up your smallest number one light. Okay? And you're going to put them together, right sides together, and you're going to sew them together with a quarter inch like always. There's my foot pedal, there we go. Okay, and the thing with log cabin is you get your exercise because every time you sew a piece on, you're going to have to press that piece, okay? So I sewed that on. And now I'm going to press that seam, okay? And now I'm going to sew the next strip on. And how you know where to sew it, you have your, your, your directions, so you mm -hmm. can follow your directions. But how you know you're going to sew it is where you ended your last one, that's where you're going to sew your next one, okay? So I'm going to put this one right there and I'm gonna sew that on. Quarter inch seam again, and we're gonna sew the other light one on. Now hopefully when you picked your colors, you really distinguished lights from darks because you want it real light on one side and real dark on the other to get the true log cabin effect. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to press it on the iron. So now I have my first two lights on. Now I know sometimes we have problem with that quarter inch. So what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to want to square it up to five inches. So you're just going to check and make sure that you're at five inches. Okay. Then you're going to take you're dark, and this is the last one that I sewed on right here, correct? So I'm just going to turn it, and I'm going to start in this corner of the last one that I sewed on. I'm going to take my first dark, and I'm just going to keep doing that. Now I'm going to sew this dark one on. <laughs> I'm tangled. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to sew that first dark one and I'm leaving off where I am starting up where I left off quarter inch okay I'm going to show you through this the two dark ones and then I think you'll be ready to so now I have to press that okay huh I said, that's oh. good about my small one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's being delivered. Mine's being delivered. Right. <laughs> so now, this is where I left off, correct? Mm -hmm. And this is the long black. Mm -hmm. This is where I left off. So I'm going to take my next black one. So now I've got two lights and two darks on there. And I'm going to sew again a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to press it. And then we're going to square it. So every time that you add two, two strips, you're going to make sure you're square again, OK? 
okay? So I'm gonna press it first. And just see how I got a nice, very light over here and very dark over here, okay? So now I wanna put it on my square again and I wanna square it. A little bit bigger square here. So now it is six and a half inches. And I'm good and square so I know I'm ready. So the next thing I'm gonna do, this is my last where I left off. I'm gonna sew my next light onto there. So now I'm gonna sew two lights, two darks, two lights, two darks. Okay, until you have a completed square. Okay. Any questions? You said the first one, if you sew the first two colors on, it's supposed to be five inches? Yeah. Five inches and then okay. six and a half inches. Okay? okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions. And, and if you want to put your blocks out from last week on the table, so we can come around and look at them, I'd like to see them too. Some of you finished at home, so I'd like to see those. Okay? Did that one, and I got and I That's awesome. Did they help you, or do you need help? No, we're good, but no one ever cuts. I can do it. Yeah, plan C. Yeah, plan C. That's okay. This. Do you have your um? My other one. Oh, yeah, your square one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's my I love that. My group one. Did you guys see how Peggy's turned out? Oh, years. Where's somebody to thread my needle for me? <laughs> Sometimes my husband has to.
No. joining us tonight. We'll see you next time for class four where we will make the bear claw block. Welcome back to Maria's Craft Corner. We're already on week four of our quilt. The girls have made half of the blocks already. We have 12 total blocks so we have six more to go. Tonight we're doing the bear claw which is a fun block to do. Um, so ladies you cut out two six and a half inch squares out of your background fabric and two out of a pattern fabric. You're gonna put those together, right sides together, and you're going to sew. And this time you're gonna be sewing in an X and you're gonna sew on four lines. So it's similar to the half square triangle, only you're sewing twice, both directions for the half square triangle, okay? After you get that done, you'll have an X on your fabric. So you'll have sewn four lines, okay? Now this is the fun part because usually when we sew two triangles together, we get two half square triangles, okay? But this time when we cut, we're gonna cut on the diagonal, both directions, <coughs> okay? And we're gonna leave it right there on the table. And now we're going to cut down the middle, vertically and horizontally. So when we open this up, instead of only getting two half square triangles, you're now going to have eight half square triangles. So it makes it go super, super fast. So you're gonna open all those up and you're gonna press to the dark and you'll have eight of these from one. So you're gonna do that twice. So you'll have 16 total, and you'll be squaring these up to two and a quarter inches. So I will do a, um, once everybody gets their triangles done, if you need to watch another square up to two and a quarter inches, I will redo that demo on how to square those up to two and a quarter inches, okay? So then after we get those together, then we will, put our black together which is a real simple black once you have your triangles done um tonight we're only doing one black and then it's going to be catch-up night so if there's any blocks that you had trouble with or that you need help with um we can work on those and get everybody caught up so after tonight you should have seven blocks out of the 12 finished okay any questions okay so Greg has asked for each of us to, and it's, it's voluntarily, to bring your blocks up front one at a time and show him your blocks and just say your name and if you want to say something like how long you've been quilting with me or 
how long you've been quilting in general. Anything you'd want to say, you can say. He said as long as it's PG. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? Okay. And then give, just try to give her a, just, we, 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 we just well, get me. <laughs> no. No. Hi, my name is Peggy Stunnicky, and I've been quilting here at Maria's Craft Corner for about three years. Um, that's probably one of the best decisions I ever made was to sign up for my first class because I've learned so much from Maria and plus I've gained so much more than just the skill of knowing how to quilt. So, oh, and quilting is cheaper than therapy. <laughs> Not much, but <laughs> it is cheaper <laughs> and a lot more fun. February, but you've already made how many quilts? So much more than just this is my second one. No, you made a t shirt quilt. Oh, the flag. Yeah. It's Elizabeth Skelton, and I've been coming here since February, and I made two quilts so far the flag quilt and the t shirt quilt, and then this one. This is your first face. Hi, my name is Sue Shell. I'm actually from Pontiac. Um, a girl that was taking a class when I first started told me about Maria and how much you can learn from her and asked me to come. So I did, and I've learned a great deal. I've been quilting for quite a few years, but nothing to this extreme. Um, glad I came, and I'll keep coming back. She's a great teacher. Perfect, Sue. Martha Coates. Um, I've uh, been coming up with quilting with Maria since probably about a couple years and um, I really enjoy coming because I get a chance to uh, visit with the other people even though we're learning new steps in quilting and Maria is very patient with all of us even when we make mistakes. <laughs> so I appreciate her and I really enjoy coming. I won't say Hi, I'm Joyce. I'm Peggy's much younger sister. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> this is my first quilting class. I got interested because I saw Peggy's quilts and my daughter got the bug, so I'm the third in, third in line starting quilting. Um, this is my first class and the first time I've done any sewing in over 10 years. So I am behind. <laughs> Tonight is catch up night and uh, I should be able to catch up the three that others had that I don't have, but I'm here. This is new and, and it's a lot of fun. I'm Sally Bernard and this is my fourth quilt. I started quilting after I retired from a full time job and I needed something to do to get out of the house. So this is number four and Maria has been very patient with me because I started with Sewing 101. Hi, my name is Diane and I've been quilting for a little over three years. Um, I love coming to Maria's. It's a lot of fun. And when I retired, my bucket list said I was going to learn how to quilt, and so here I am. And bears. Hi, I'm Debbie Paulson. Uh, I used to quilt with my mom many years ago, but I hadn't done any sewing in over 20 years, but wanted to get back to it. So three years ago when I retired, one of my friends told me about Maria. So I signed up for a class here and I've taken five or six since then. Loved every minute of it. Maria and all the gals down here have been a great help and I really feel like uh, it's helped me uh, do better at, at my new hobby. Oh, thank you. Hi, my name is Kathy Harris, and I am working on my very first piece quilt. Um, I've only been sewing since January, and Maria taught me how to do rag quilts, which I've done three of those now. But now I'm working on my first piece quilt, and without Maria, I don't think I'd get it done, but it's going well. Hey, I'm 
I'm Linda Volkman, and I've been coming to Maria's for, I think she's been open six years now, so for six years. And I started my first quilt in January following that first month that she, first time that she was open. Um, I haven't done every quilt that she's done, but I've done many of them. I just learned how to quilt because Maria taught me. She's a great teacher and a great friend. Thanks. Well, we're going to continue working on our blocks. Thanks for joining us this week, and we'll see you next week for class number six. Thank you for joining us tonight at Maria's Craft Corner. If anyone would like more information about the Craft Corner, they can find my page on Facebook, Maria's Craft Corner, or you can call me on my phone at 674-7034. I also have an email. It's grammaria65 at gmail.com. I'd love to hear if you have any questions or comments about our shop. We'll see you next week. And we'll be doing the heart block and the kitchen table block. Hi, I'm Maria. Welcome back to Maria's Craft Corner. We're into our fifth class already for our block of the month quilt. So we're halfway done with the quilt. Um, tonight we're going to be doing two different blocks. We're going to be doing the kitchen table block and the heart block. Kitchen table. You can do in the heart. So, so ladies, for the kitchen table block, we're going to start making. You're going to be making flying geese with this, um, and you have to make. You're going to make eight flying geese. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your background squares or rectangles. You cut eight rectangles four and a half by two and a half. Four of them get put aside for right now, okay? Four of them you're going to make into flying geese. So if you look on your directions, you are going to take your squares that you drew a line on, you're going to put one square on one side and you're gonna sew on the line and press it. Then you're going to take the other square right sides together, just like that. So they do overlap, okay? They will overlap. And you're going to sew, sorry about that. You're going to sew on that line. So you'll be sewing two squares onto each rectangle. <laughs> you gotta use the foot pedal, not your shoe. <laughs> I was pushing on my flip flop. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna edit that one out of there. Uh, they probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I just sewed the second square onto there. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut the medium fabric. We're going to get your background out of the way and you're going to cut just the medium fabric okay so when you go to press it you still have your full background rectangle underneath okay it's something new that we haven't done yet so I'd like you to try it that way and then you're going to press that so now you have um, a flying geese so each rectangle is going to get two squares on
Thank you.